good morning students and welcome to the class today today we will start with chapter 6 which is no more about ms powerpoint 2007 this is part 1 of the chapter so let's start the presentation software enables the user to present information graphics videos etc to side show in an attractive way MS PowerPoint is a powerful tool to create presentations and slideshows. It is a part of Microsoft Office. With PowerPoint, you can work with a mixture of text, photographs, sounds, videos and animation. The purpose of presentation software, digital presentations, a excellent medium for teaching activities easy to create use copy store and transport presentation software makes the ability to communicate messages to a group of people much simpler than any other message seeing the presentation while hearing about it helps in both visual and audio to the learners to observe the information steps for starting ms powerpoint click on start button click on all apps or all programs click on microsoft office select microsoft powerpoint 2010 whatever version you are having if you are having 2007 then open that On the top you can see the title bar. Title bar contains the name present one, presentation 1 Microsoft PowerPoint. That is the default name. MS PowerPoint 2010 window. The components. First one is quick access toolbar. Second title bar. Then minimize, maximize, close, slides pane, zoom slider, view buttons, status bar outline tab slides tab title bar it displays the name of the document the ribbon it gives you all the options to work in from a single area the file tab it consists of commands like to open save and print slide area here you can add slide elements such as text pictures animations and sounds placeholder the area where you insert the element is called the placeholder creating a new presentation to create a new presentation do the following steps click on the file tab click on new option select blank presentation click on create button no more to add a new slide press ctrl plus m shortcut key saving a presentation click the file tab and select the save as command the save as dialog box will appear type a name for your document in the file name text box when you assign a name to the file and save it the default name presentation 1 is replaced by the by the assigned file name you can also save the file in your desired location opening a presentation Click on the file tab, choose open option, select the file in the navigation pen and select the open button. Exiting a presentation. To exit from PowerPoint, click on the file tab and choose exit option. Adding a new slide. To add a new slide on the home tab in the slides group. Click the arrow next to the new slide option. 
adding pictures in a new slide. Click the insert tab and then click on the picture icon. The insert picture dialog box will, will be displayed on the screen. Select a picture whatever you want. Click on the insert button. Another method to insert picture is to choose title and content layout for the slide and then click on the picture icon in the lower placeholder as shown. No more. Press F5 shortcut key to view the slideshow from beginning. Sh press Shift plus F5 to view the slideshow from current slide. Adding text into a placeholder. The area where you have a dashed border in which you insert the element is called a placeholder. Here you enter element like text, image, tables by using the placeholders. Slideshow. Slideshow can be very useful tool for teaching, sharing and learning. MS PowerPoint gives you the option to present the series of slides into the slideshow. Select slideshow from beginning or from current slide option. No more. Press F5 for starting slideshow. With this we are finished with today's class. Thank you.